The map was upside down. <laughs> the map was upside down, right? That was the highlight of the day. <laughs> My name is Brian Cox, but most people know me as the travel vlogger. I'm always in search of extraordinary experiences, and on this adventure, I'll be biking over 700 kilometers across the Czech Republic. Come with me to see what makes this destination so special. Good morning and welcome to day eight. We are halfway through the journey. Today we are leaving Chesky Krumlov and we're heading to... Jindřichu Hradec. What he just said. I tried it many times and failed epically. Jen Jehu Hradec. I think I got that right. That's correct. That's where we're going, so come on, let's go. First thing we did was grab a transfer to Nove Hradec. Otherwise, we would have a total of 114 kilometers of riding day. We got dropped off and headed to our first stop, just a kilometer outside the town. In no time, we were at a museum dedicated to the Iron Curtain. Here we would learn all about the history of this iconic border. Lots of artifacts, radios, maps, guns, and even an RPG. Outside, they even had a replica of the Iron Curtain with some original parts. It was a real eye-opening experience and well worth a quick stop. So we just left the museum. We came back to the town center of Nove Haradi and we're gonna have lunch. But as you probably already realized, we picked up a new biker. This is Tomas. Hello, I'm Tom and I'm a very passionate biker and I saw the Facebook group Biking in Czech Republic so I decided to be part of this trip. It was a very spontaneous action but I really like it and now I'm enjoying it with you guys. We ate up and just as we were paying the bill it started to rain so we decided to wait it out. Tomáš didn't have a raincoat so we made him one from a garbage bag. After 30 minutes, the rain stopped, but we were a little behind schedule. And we're finally off. Got the rain gear all over the bike, protecting everything. But really, we just hope it doesn't rain again. Not so sure we'll be able to make all 61 kilometers before light goes down, but let's just be optimistic. It was not long before it started raining again, but at least we were prepared. The rain only lasted for about 20 minutes, but soon after, we would be met with a new challenge. First problem of the day. We have choice number one, choice number two, and but wait, it gets even more complex. Choice number three. Which way should we go? I think this way. I think we should be going that way. <laughs> it was a nice pub. It was nice pub, yeah. <laughs> there are definitely worse places to get lost. We ended up finding our way, and were able to take in the scenery. We were riding through an area called Czech Canada, an area spanning 250 square kilometers and characterized with rolling hills, pine forests, and an atmosphere of infinite vastness with few inhabitants. We wanted to stay here much longer, but as it was getting dark quickly, we knew we had to keep pedaling. Sunset was stunning, but also a reminder that we still had 10 kilometers left before reaching our final stop. The time went by fast, and we were soon welcomed by the old city entrance of Jindřichu Hradec. We just checked into the hotel. It's past 10 p.m. We rode the last 45 minutes in the dark. We are super tired. We're gonna go have a victory beer, and if we're lucky, we're gonna hope to find a kebab. So come on, let's go. We were not lucky. The kebab shop was closed, and after wandering around the town for 15 minutes, the only establishment that was open at this hour was the gas station. So we got some sandwiches, some victory beers, Cheers. and, and kofola. kofola, which is the Czech soda.
that's about that. So I think this is where we're gonna say goodbye for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. On day nine, we grab a train to Nova Bistrica, try some new Czech pastries, and end up in the South Moravian town of Znoimo. To see tons of great photos from the journey, or to post your own shots, be sure to check out these hashtags on Instagram. Don't leave yet. There's tons of great videos to keep watching. More importantly, did you subscribe yet?